brought the aggression on the set of The Departed, it sounds like. You were in ca kind of in character and decided, for whatever reason, that's the headspace you wanted to be in. Because yeah. I would think, imagine most folks are like kowtowing to Marty and like, whatever you say, boss. But it sounds like your attitude was a little bit stronger than that on that set. Well, I was a little pissed about a couple of things, but look, it all worked out in the end. I Why think. Were you pissed that you're not? Sure <clears throat> well, originally I was supposed to play another part. Originally right. I was supposed to get paid, and originally I was supposed to be, you know, in. And then even when we kind of agreed that I would play Dingham, and I saw the advantages of playing that part, yep. and how I would approach the situation with everybody else playing opposite me. Um, I then had, I had another movie after. So I had just finished Four Brothers and I was going into Invincible after. I was trying to grow my hair out, which is why I had that weird hair. You know, everybody's like, what was that wig about? It was like, I was not a wig. I was just trying to grow my hair for the, the next film. Right. And then, but he had to deal, I, I completely understand where Mario's coming from. He had to deal with Jack. He had to deal with Matt and Leo and Alec and everything in the studio and everybody else who was in the cast. And then I was supposed to be in and out in five weeks. Right. And so I went off to go and shoot uh, Invincible, got my hair extensions, came back, and then they were like, oh, you got to take out the extensions. I was like, shit, took eight hours. I'm not taking this out. <laughs> this so we got. had a couple of issues, but, got you know, it. ultimately, I think when I read that particular role, I was like, okay, this is, this is a good role. This is an opportunity for me to really kind of go off and have some fun. For me, originally, I was just thinking, okay, we got to make this – as realistic and credible as possible. It's Boston, it's gangster shit. You don't see too many of that, those yeah. movies. And I was thinking kind of broad, big picture, not necessarily my own individual um, <clears throat> goals or even the opportunity for me as an actor. And then when I read the part again, I was like, okay, this... There's, there's something here. It's, it's, it says something to be the guy that steals scenes from the likes of Nicholson and Damon and Leo. Man, mm -hmm. your role is, your performance is remarkable. Mm -hmm. Oscar nominated uh, for the, for the performance. Your only acting Oscar nomination. Do you feel, look, do you care about that kind of stuff? Does it, does it matter to you to be recognized? I have to a certain extent. I mean, yeah. You look, you want the movie to be recognized. You want to be recognized. You want to, it helps the, the, you know, the ultimate uh, success of the film. I think it enhances the box office quite a bit especially if you have a movie coming out at that time of year, but it's not as high on the priority list as it used to be. Let's just say that. Okay. Would you rather yeah. a movie make a billion dollars or win an Academy Award? If I have a nice back end, I would rather... <laughs> yeah, let me see the deal points. My... Let me see the deal. <laughs> but that being said, look, I mean, you know, I'm a competitive guy. I like, you know, to be... I work really hard and I try to make the best movies possible. Yeah. I always want to be the best. I approach it as very much as an athlete, as a fighter, all of those things. So I only want to win. I'm going to be one of the few guys that's not going to lie to you right now. I know, you know a That's lot what... of guys are like, yeah, I'd love to see uh, somebody da, 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 win this over me. You know, hey, yeah, come on. 